morning everyone, Dave Weiner here, and I want to demo a new feature for you today in Fargo, and the new feature is encryption. And well, this is how it works. So here I have a little file uh, called Secrets, and um, this file contains things like uh, passwords, so there's a password for Amazon, and one for PayPal, I mean, you get the idea. The, these are, of course, not real passwords, but it's just a demo. Um, I have a section for leakers, um, and under George Metesky, there are several volumes, and I have contact info, and a few other people that are theoretically fictionally, fictionally leaking stuff to me. Um, and then um, some secret proprietary source code, the opposite of open source. Something that's so secret, I don't want anyone to see it under any circumstances. Um, now, unfortunately, so let's go, I'm going to go, since all this stuff um, is stored in Dropbox and uh, I haven't yet turned on encryption, um, unfortunately, these files are all stored, passwords and all, um, in the open. In, you know, so anybody that's snooping that manages to get access to um, my Dropbox folder uh, could just like open the file and read it. Here, I'll show you what that looks like. So here, I'll bring it over, and you can see um, there's the file, and there are the passwords, and all the private information, which obviously would be nice if we could hide that, and that's what encryption does. So, um, so let's go back to Fargo. And so the way uh, you do that is there's just a couple of steps. First of all, I have to set a password, and for that, I go over here to the system menu and I choose settings and then I go to the uh, advanced tab which was already selected and you can see there's a place now to enter a password and it says um, this is the password we will use to encrypt outlines as we save so um, I'll enter a password in here and um, your password probably should be longer than that but this is just a demo I click OK and um, and then I want to tell it, tell Fargo that this is an encrypted file. Um, so, for example, my blog, which is all public information, I don't want that to be encrypted. Uh, if it were encrypted, um, then it would never be able to, uh, the server would not be able to read the file and it would not be able to create a blog out of it. So that wouldn't work. So I go to back to secrets and then I go to the file menu. And I choose Outline Settings, and then I choose Encrypt, which is a new panel in there. And it says simply check this box to encrypt the contents of this outline. So I'm going to check the box. And now I want to make a little change to the file to cause it to be saved. You can see over here, there, it's been saved. And now, with any luck at all, praying to the demo gods, I'm going to reopen that file. See, it was modified one second ago. Download it and open it. Sure enough, all that open text, clear text with all those passwords and stuff are now, it's now scrambled. It's now uh, been, this is what encryption is. So that if anybody at, you know, some nasty hacker organization uh, or, you know, whatever, was reading this file, all they would get is just, you know, this stuff, meaningless stuff, and if they don't have the password, uh, well, they, they won't be able to read what's here. So now, the final step in the demo is to show you um, that I can actually reload the file, um, and it will still come back. Fargo, in other words, Fargo will be able to... Um, retrieve the information from the encrypted file um, because it has the password that allows it to do that. And then I could um, add another service in here, say Twitter, and make my password up with Chris Hayes. This is something I thought of off the top of And of course, is nobody's password, probably not even Chris Hayes' password. Anyway, um, that's what we got. That's how encryption works in Fargo. Um, and uh, thank you very much.